All right, I thought I would use this little cell phone app that I have that measures uh, speed and wow uh, for turntables and maybe compare the four turntables that got set up here. So the first one to go is this uh, Thorin's TD125. Let's see what it can do. Right start. Hit it on the way, fly. Looks like the speed's good. I did set it in the window here, so I think it should be should be set pretty well. The trick is to get your cell phone um, centered as well as you can, because just the weight of the cell phone can throw the thing off. Okay, so that measures out 33.39, pretty close, and a wow of 0 0.21. All right. So next up is this other vintage uh, turntable. Let me get that thing centered. And this is a Acoustic Research ARXA. Turntable, very nice little turntable. I like it a lot. Very manual and very simple. The only control this guy is this little cheapo toggle switch there, or slide switch. Okay, let's start that one up. Now these two, first two, are belt drives. Uh, this AR, Acoustic Research, is a very early belt drive. And uh, let's see what it does. Oh, I forgot to hit start. Make the video too long. That looks like, now this one's not, you can't control the speed on this one. So it's all controlled by the pulley and the belt you have on it. It looks like it's pretty close, just the right speed. Okay. So it comes in at uh, 33.28 with a wow of 0 0.06. That's the winner so far. The oldest one. Okay, coming over here. Let me get this centered. Now this is 1965 vintage uh, dual 1019. because what we're doing here is measuring. Wow, well, let me slow it down a little bit. Okay, that's closer. Start that up. And the next two are both duals and they're both the rim drive. It's an older technology. This one has a very heavy platter. It weighs in about seven and a half pounds, so it's it's pretty consistently. Let's see what I got. 33.34 and a wow of 0 0.06. Hmm, that's close to what that one was, I think. Maybe that's the winner so far. A rim drive. A lot of people say those don't turn too consistently because of the idler wheel, but this one seems to be Pretty accurate. All right, next up is a uh, dual 1209. That's from about One comes in at ooh, pretty good too. Uh, 33.31 and a wow of 0 0.09. So if I was paying attention and I probably wasn't too well. I'll look at it on the video later, but I think either the dual 1019 or the ARXA is the winner. And I think if those are tied for number one. 
Number two would be the uh, Dual 1209. Number three would be the Thorns TD-125. I'm not sure how accurate this thing is too, but anyway, that's a direct comparison using the same app on uh, four different turntables.